On today's video, we're gonna take a look at a downloadable ID scanning app, find out whether it's worth it or if it's just a waste of time, starting right now. Hi, my name is Perry. I'm a nightlife security professional, as well as a director of security at a large Phoenix nightclub. If you're new to the channel, here at Bouncer Tips, we talk about tips, tricks, and we talk about the tools that we use here in the nightlife security industry. If this is the type of content that interests you, please make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button. Also make sure you hit that little notification bell so you can join my notification squad. On today's video, I'm going to give an in-depth look at the Bar & Club Stats ID scanner that's available for download on cell phones. You might be familiar with this application as it was featured on the hit TV show Bar Rescue. This application is both available in iOS as well as Android, and we're going to take a look at its features, we're going to check its reliability on scanning IDs, and we're going to talk about its real-world value to the nightlife security industry. So let's get started. The first thing you need to be aware of on this application is that while it's free to download, there is actually a monthly service fee if you want to use all the features that are available on the Bar & Club Stats ID scanner. However, the application does allow you to scan 10 IDs per day so you can find out whether this app is going to work for your situation or not. The cell phone scanner program is designed to be used in conjunction with a website that you have to pay a monthly service fee, which is $24.99. That monthly service fee gives you access to a portal which collects the data that you actually download when you scan the IDs, as well as gives you a dashboard where you can look at the statistics of who and what and when people came to your club. Some of the features that are included on this application are first you have a patron tally counter. You also have the ability to set lists. For example, you have lists on whether people are banned or 86 from your club. You can also set people up as VIPs and put them on your VIP list and actually that's done internally inside the application. When you scan an ID, you are actually able to add that person to a particular list right after they come in the club. So with the ban list, you can go through the IDs that you've scanned that day, find the person that you're banning from the club, tab them, and they will permanently be added to that list, and you will be able to tell anytime they come to the club and scan their ID that that person is no longer allowed or banned from the club. This is also true with the VIP list. When you scan the ID, it will alert you that the person is on a VIP list making it aware that this person is an important client to the club and you need to take extra care to make sure they get treated appropriately. The application allows you to also change the age of the person that you're scanning IDs. For example, if you're a convenience store and you need to do cigarette verification, you're able to set the age at 18 instead of setting it only for 21. A third adjustable feature on the application is you are able to set the time in which you want the ID scanner to alert you if you have a returning customer. For example, if a customer leaves and comes back, it will alert you that that's been rescanned within a certain amount of time that you set, whether it be 30 minutes, one hour, or five hours, you have the choice to make that what you want it to be for that particular evening. I realized I just briefly covered the features. If you want to learn more, I'll put a link in the description below so you can actually go to their website and actually read a little bit more about the features that are available for this ID scanner. But now I want to see how reliable this scanner is. And I've got 10 fake IDs right here, and we're going to see if it catches every single one of them or if it lets some of them through to see how reliable and accurate this scanner is. So after we test those results, I'll give you my final thoughts on this scanner and let you know if it's worth it or not. So stick around. So let's open up the app. As you can see, I have a bunch of fakes. We hit the scan with camera button. Let's go to the first ID with New Jersey. Comes up fake. Tennessee. Uh oh, scan's real. New York? Yikes, again, real. Indiana? Real, not good. How about Arizona? Nope. Connecticut? 
fails again. As you can see, I don't really have to go any further. As we tested out six of these IDs, five of them came back registered as real IDs when they were verified fake IDs before the test. And to be quite honest, this isn't all that surprising to me. This is something that I kind of anticipated before I even started the review. You see, a lot of fake ID manufacturers out there have gotten really good and really sophisticated at implanting the information inside the ID using barcodes. And there's just not going to be an ID scanner that's out there that's going to be able to determine whether that barcode is legitimate or has been put in false information by a manufacturer of a fake ID. That's why it's best to have somebody that's skilled at your front door that knows IDs and somebody that cares about finding fake IDs. And that's why here at Bouncer Tips I try my best to give you all the information you may need to determine whether it's a legitimate or fake ID. Because as we saw from the test, if you utilize the scanner, you'll get more people coming in with fake IDs than your front door should be able to stop by just doing visual inspections. Now that's not to say that scanners don't have their place in a nightclub. If you utilize the scanner along with somebody that's skilled in ID checking, it's a great way to track your guests in and out of the club and also help you with determining whether somebody's passed an ID along to somebody else because you'll be able to see that if that ID scans twice in a short amount of time, that's probably been passed to somebody else. So it does have some place in the nightclub security industry. It can also help you collect a database of your customers so you can better plan for future dates. You can also help make specials that will cater to the particular guests that are attending your club. And you can utilize that information to help build your business and increase your sales. So would I recommend the Bar and Club Stats ID Scanner? Unfortunately, at this time, I cannot. However, it is a tool that you might want to consider using to collect data on customers. However, if you're going to use it just for IDing, I would not recommend it at all. In the comments section, let me know if you'd consider using this scanner. In the meantime, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to know more about finding IDs, click this link right here. And you've just been taken beyond the ropes. Have a great day.